guys, um, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Into the Future LP. I believe this is part 24, something like that, 25. I, I don't know, it's beyond me. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, welcome back. Alrighty, so in this part, there's a lot I want to do. I want to go ahead and prep up for, you know, Winter, who's going to be here in one day. I also, in the last part, you know, said, I think we should adopt a baby, and I definitely think we will in this part. Um, you know, I think <laughs> Cody and Brandy, the first child was made in a science facility, <laughs> And their second one will be cute and adorable and adopted. It's all about being different, so I definitely want to do that. I think the last time I adopted was in Supernatural, which was forever um, ago. So I definitely want to adopt another child. I also want to go ahead and get ready for winter by prepping the house up, putting some lights up. I'm also going to have Cosma change the doorbell um, because her handiness skill, she can actually change it, which I really want to. It will be my first time ever changing the doorbell. But, um, <laughs> let's look at Brandy really quick. She's, <laughs> she's pretty much, she's like a dragon. Look at her. She's like spitting it out at Cody. Imagine if he like caught on fire. Oh my god. His wife is PMSing, you guys. Females and their natural habitat. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and clean up a little bit. Get the house cleaned. I really am going to miss my little fall decor. I think it is like the cutest thing ever. I don't know about you guys, but I really love the fall decor. I'm going to miss it. <laughs> I think it was so cute. Oh. All right, Miss Cosma, why don't you come over here? Instead of washing all the dishes, come over here and change our doorbell to jingle. We're going to do jingle because, you know, it's going to be the holidays and it's gonna be super cute so we might as well begin to put like a little jingle on our door because we're also gonna put some lights up by the end of the day look at her go ham Alrighty, so like I was saying, we're definitely going to adopt a baby today and you guys are probably thinking all right you already don't have room in your house what are you going to do um the baby's gonna sleep in Cody and Brandy's bedroom for now until it ages up into a toddler, maybe even when it's a toddler. Um, but by the time it's a child or a toddler, I'm going to have this house once again a little renovated. It only has like three bedrooms right now, but there is like a lot that I am going to do to this house. Um, this is kind of like the starter home of our final home, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, so let's go ahead and get the baby's a little crib. Um, we're going to go ahead and go with this one, the cocoon crib. That came with the Sims 3 store. It's absolutely to die for. So we're going to go ahead and put that right there. Let's uh, pay our bills, which are extremely expensive. Um, okay, that's not how I wanted it, like, at all. But, alright. Alright, that's how I wanted it. Alrighty, uh, good. Processing. Processing. <laughs> alright, let's go ahead and go back into live mode. And uh, go ahead and give the social services a call. That is that what it is? I don't know. Indigo's like, I'm about to get a freaking sibling. She's like, what is this? She's like, what is this? I am like the baby of the family. I've always been the baby of the family. Cosmos just freaking hitting the door with a hammer. <laughs> All right, adoption service completely free you'd like to adopt that's wonderful we'll send over a social worker out to visit you right away awesome when I when I played the sims 2 I think it was no it was the sims 3 because in the sims 2 you only get the option for a toddler and a child and I think a teenager but in the sims 3 you get an option for a newborn baby a toddler and a child I'm pretty sure and I always picked uh, blah, blah, I can't talk I always picked a toddler because I found babies so annoying still do to this day but I find them a little bit less annoying now that I play the game more frequently well I played the game like I did now and I was addicted before but I mean like now I play it practically every single day of my life so I just kind of got used to them <laughs> anyways um Noelle and Miss Brandy I think they're going to have their wedding in the next part. 
Um, Because in this part, we're going to be adopting and getting ready for winter. And they'll have like a cute little winter wedding and everything. And I think it'll be super cute. So, Noel, why don't you come over here and deactivate the time portal? We won't be going to the future anytime soon. There's too much going on. And, um, let's see. Cosma. Cosma, Cosma is still, still working on that doorbell. Let's see if we can listen to it. She's almost done. Come on. Come on, little plumbot. Come on, Cosma. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it sounded really cute. It sounded really cute. I'm so sick of this freaking rain. I can't wait for it to turn into snow or for it to just stop altogether. It has been raining for the last several parts, and I'm getting real sick of it. All right, we're going to go ahead and put some hanging. Hmm. We're going to do white lights. I just think white lights look really, really great. All right, let's see. Adopt a child. What is the age and gender of the child you would like to adopt? We're going to go ahead and adopt a baby boy. They already have their, their girl, so now they need a little baby boy. Do I want a boy or do I want a girl? I kind of want a girl. I really do just want a girl. So, yeah, we're going to get another girl. All right, what would you like to name the newly adopted kid? Ooh, this is hard. Okay, we have Indigo, Cody, and Brandy. Where the hell did I come up with Indigo? That is so random. Um. <laughs> All right, we're going to name her Violet. Uh, I guess their children's going to be named after colors. <laughs> but yeah, her name's going to be Violet. Oh, I love, love, love when they bring them in their little basket like this. Oh, I love it so much. When you adopt a kid, they bring them in this little basket, and it's so cute. Sometimes I just want to leave them in the basket. So badly, I just want to leave them in that basket. Who's going to freaking... Cosma? Cosma. Cosma's the first one to pick up the baby. Oh. I want that basket. Oh. Yay, a new baby, and it's a baby girl. <laughs> Violet Freeman. We're going to snuggle her, play with her. Oh, she's cute, too, you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, so the reason I picked a girl is, you know, usually I would pick a boy so we could have a boy and a girl. But you know what? I want a baby girl. I want another baby girl. I love my baby girls. Like, I tell my friends and my family, like, this because I'm creepy, like, all the time. Like, my first kid... I want it to be a girl, which it's kind of weird. Like you hear people, they really want a girl, but they always end up with like a boy. So watch, I'm going to end up having like all boys when I'm older, you know, married and everything, all boys. <laughs> so just thought I'd let you guys know, um, I'm going to have all boys, but yeah, I'm really excited to have the new babies. Oh, she's so cute too. Oh, I'm so happy. Our house is getting pretty full too. Uh, once Lily and Noel, you know, get married, I'm going to have them get pregnant. And then um, she will give birth and then I'll move them out is pretty much how I'm going to do it. Um, so we can see what gender she has. React to upgraded object. You knock it off. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, go put the baby in her new crib up here. And actually, Cosma, ever since I put the handy butt in her, she can upgrade a lot of things that would help us a lot. So um, we're going to upgrade the um, meal quality here. We're also going to come over here and upgrade this to be unbreakable. Pretty much we're just going to upgrade a bunch of stuff. Um, it'll make our life a lot easier. And it would just be nice, you know what I mean? It would be nice to have things not break on us all the time. Because um, you guys know, like, my toilets are constantly clogging. My showers are constantly breaking. My heart is constantly cracking. No. <laughs> but, yeah. Alrighty. So, now we actually need to go ahead and get um, some winter decor up in this house, you guys. I'm really going to miss my pumpkins. I really am. You guys know how much I love them and I don't want to get rid of them. But I don't even know if I have, like, winter winter decor I really don't know if I do I'm just gonna kind of put stuff over here that I think might work I really don't know if I do okay well there's a mistletoe that will definitely work that will definitely work twerk for me Miley oh I had these little Thanksgiving wreaths oh I should put those up oh well okay here's some wreaths those will work 
Um, I don't want to put them right there because that's where my lights are. So let's put them outside. One right there. And one right there. Awesome. Oh, need to paint that wall. <laughs> and that one too. Wow. Anyways, back to what I was doing. All right, so we put some wreaths outside. I always put, like during the holidays, of course, I always put them outside because um, I think they're adorable. Uh, let's see, let's see. I really, I have like a lot of Thanksgiving and fall and Halloween decor, but I really don't have too much, um, too much holiday stuff um, for, for the wonderful little snowflake day I really don't see there's so much Thanksgiving stuff or fall stuff not Thanksgiving fall stuff <laughs> autumn stuff I really do have quite a bit of it all right we have some stuff for out here instead of our scarecrow I'm gonna put that over there because we're gonna put that in our inventory we'll go ahead and put a little snowman <laughs> and we have like our little holiday good cheer gnome so let's go ahead and replace my little my little cute gnome with the little Santa gnome um, what else? I need to replace those pumpkins in there with something else. Um, even though I am in love with those pumpkins. <sighs> Sorry. Um, let's see. I really don't know what to put there. Maybe some presents if I can find some. I think that'd be cute. Let's see. Um, the chapel. The chapel. Alright. Come on, game. Give me something good. Tell me something good. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Here are some like little presents that we can switch them out with. Oh, I'm going to miss my little pumpkins. Is there any other ones? Or are those the only ones I have? could have sworn I had more presents. Sorry this is taking me so long. You guys just know. Oh, why didn't I put this out? Oh, this is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have put that out. That is so freaking cute. Oh, I'm so mad right now. I am so mad. I am so mad. <sighs> All right. Oh my gosh, you guys. There's so much right now that I just want to put. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. This is adorable. All right. You can go over there, Mr. Snowman, because this snowman's going right here. He's going. Oh my gosh. There's so many cute decorations. Oh, oh, there are so many decorations I didn't put up, and I am so mad. I am so mad. You guys have no idea. I am pissed right now. Oh, damn it. Oh, I love that table. Oh, I love that table. I have to end up putting that in the house. All right, come on. Come on. Pick something, Life Simmer. Pick something. You're sitting here procrastinating because you're just... Being a little freaking doofus and saying how everything's so cute. But everything is so cute, so I can't help it. <laughs> put that little snowman back there. Alright, and let's go ahead and just put... Um, don't mind, like, the grass right there either. Do that, and we just need to get a tree now, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, no, here's... <gasps> this is what I wanted. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. Can I even place it right there? I better be able to. Oh, I can't. How cute. That's why there's cheats. Move objects on. Um. Move objects on. There we go. Sorry this is taking me so long, guys. You just know how I am. Or maybe you don't know how I am. I'm just crazy, you guys. I really am crazy so yeah let's go ahead and put that right there yes yes this is exactly how I want it to be we'll put a little mistletoe right there okay and now we just need to put our tree down and I'll be content I'll put our tree right here okay let me go ahead and turn move objects off okay okay if I can find more decorations, I will definitely put them... Okay, why the hell did I forget to put... There we go. If I find more decorations, I will most definitely add them um, to our cute little home. Um, just this is what we have for now. Um, I might get a little bit of custom content. Uh, I don't use custom content furniture, and I kind of like it that way, but we'll see. I, I most likely won't. Um, 
because I think it's okay for now. I just kind of need to search a little bit more in the catalog, but that's good. Oh, all right. Can we see our lights? All right, we're going to come out here and begin to smash our <laughs> stomp out all of our, our pumpkins. Get rid of them. Even though they're adorable and they looked so cute during fall, it's, it's time to go, little pumpkins. And um, AKA, I'm going to kill you. Oh, crap. Oh, and I can't put it that in our inventory. I need to put it in our family inventory. There we go. So Lily's going to do the honors of just smashing out all these pumpkins over here. Good girl. Oh, yes. Kill them. Oh, no. She has to, oh, she has to go to work. All right. Um, we're going to have Brandy. We're actually Indigo. Indigo, why don't you come over here and stomp them all out? Stomp them out like you're going to stomp that girl you don't like out at school. No. <laughs> Alright, now we are going to go ahead and dispose of all of these. Let's do it. Alright. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, look at little Cosmo going to work over here. How cute is she? <laughs> All right, Lily went to work. Who else went to work? Oh no, they have the same work hours pretty much. That's really cute. All right, Cosma, Cosma still has quite a bit of work to do, so it's not dinner time quite yet. I was gonna go ahead and have everybody eat, but it's not dinner time quite yet. Oh, look at Indigo up here picking up her little baby sister. Oh, what a good look. Big sister, not little sister. Snuggle her. Awesome. And um, we're actually going to go ahead and invite this girl over, Star Shwu or Shway. I don't know. She's in high school, and uh, we definitely need some friends. So let's go ahead and do that. Have like a little sleepover or something eventually. I think it'd be very nice. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Good. I think in the last part I told you guys I was going to add some sims or something to the neighborhood. I, I haven't. <laughs> um, I just remembered, actually. So if I did say that in the last part, sorry, I just remembered, like, just now. Um, so, um, <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, yeah. Did she say she was going to come over? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I didn't even look. I think she did. We're actually going to do some laundry. What a good girl. She's doing laundry for no reason on a Saturday night. <laughs> story of my life, girl. Story of my life. There's our cute little jingle. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, invite her inside. She looks like a little leprechaun. Um, kind of like, well, all the Sims in here in Hin Springs kind of have that look to them. They all look like little elves and stuff. Um, well, the majority of them anyways. Um, but yeah, we're going to be kind of nice to her. We're going to gossip a little bit. Ask about her career. Not cuddle on the sofa. That would be kind of creepy. <laughs> but yeah, she's pretty cute. The leprechaun, elfy type of make extreme move i don't know what that is but we're not gonna do it talk about the cold talk about the rain we're definitely gonna have to check that out here i'm gonna have um cody go ahead and sit right here where's brandy brandy stop reading get over here sit your ass down we're gonna see what this extreme move is cody sit back down cody sit back down All right. We're going to compliment her cleverness. I hate you so much, Cody. Oh, Cody. Look at here. Lily's making freaking friends with Indigo's friend over here. Stop it. Stop it. We need friends. All right. We're going to go ahead and come over here and chat with her a little bit. Um, we're also going to talk about arts. And we will talk about the rain because it's been raining like four days now and let's see what else talk about movies and um let's go ahead and tell her a funny story um show her an internet cats video and show her a funny video 
All right. Also, Indigo wants to get a part-time job, which I definitely think is totally, totally cool. So we will get her part-time job. Oh, she has her imaginary friend. I want to sell that thing. All right. Le -le 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 -le. Ask for a kiss, Cosma. <gasps> Can we do that? Can we do that? <gasps> Can we do that? <gasps> I think we can do that. What? I thought she had to have a different trait chip for that to even work. But apparently we can kiss Cosma. Oh my goodness. Alright, you two need to... Need to relax a little bit over here. Jesus. Okay, guys, everybody's kind of just going to have a little... Actually, you know what? Noel should be home very shortly. Yeah, he's on his way. I think I'm going to have him and Lily kind of go go out for a little bit um, to the watering hole, maybe. I just get a couple of drinks. Let's do that really quick. Um, he's about to head home. Head home. Head home. Go home! Don't make me... Yeah, go home. Alright, like I was saying, um, if it isn't too late now, I definitely want them to go get a couple of drinks. It might be a little too late. Actually, it closes at, I think, 3 a.m. That girl Star is leaving. Bye, Star. It was nice meeting you. Alright. Oh, wait. We don't have the watering hole here. This is not Appaloosa Plains. I need to add bars in here. Alright. They're just going to go to bed. Wow, guys. Wow. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and um, head to bed now. Everybody's eating at like 10 p.m. Like the weird little family that... Okay, this needs to go away. Anyways, yeah. See, Lily's already in bed. Um, So, I will see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, so good morning, guys. Alright, and it is now very, 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 very snowy outside and super adorable. Anyways, um, in the next part, I'm not going to end it right now, but I'm just saying. We're going to end it in a minute or so. In the next part, we are going to be throwing our wedding. And like I said, I am going to have them make some friends off uh, camera so we can go ahead and have them at our wedding and everything and have some friends here in Hidden Springs. I definitely want that. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. And we need to get to know, uh, Marina and Tisha Freeman a little bit more. Those are like our stepdaughters or almost stepdaughters. So I think that'd be a good idea if we went, um, you know, and got to know them a little bit better. And so we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. But one thing I want to get Lily really quick, if we can get it, is the, I don't know where it is. It is the, let's see. Do, do, do. It is to learn your skills a lot quicker. Where is it? <laughs> we have to have it. Born to cook. Become a better chef without spending years slaving over a hot stove. Increase the quality of your food today as well as the taste. Ooh. Let's see. Where is it? Really? Where is it? It has to be in here. Um. Hmm. All right, let's see. Under skills, maybe. Um, extra creative. Extra. Oh, there it is. Fast learner. There it is. Learn and improve skills faster than a galloping llama. Woo. We're going to go ahead and get her this because um, today I want her to practice her arithmicon skill. She really, really, really needs to. Um, her lifetime wish is to be honored with a legacy statue she's already experienced all our uh, all 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 our our <laughs> alternate futures um so now all she has to do is go ahead and um right here reach level 10 in the laser rhythmicon skill then have 10 different sims watch or listen to you while playing the rhythmicon while in present day so literally all she has to do is finish off well master her skill and then she needs to just play the arithmicon in public i didn't want to you know 
easy it out and just go with a super easy one. I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went ahead and gave her, you know, the Rhythmicon one. I think it'd be cool. We'd get to know the skill a little bit. And what the hell are you wearing? I'm going to let you go ahead and wear that. Do you, Lily? Do you? Um, so, yeah. We're just going to go ahead and hopefully this will go up a lot faster. Um, now that she has the fast learner trait. Cool. I mean, she's doing pretty good. She does, you know, this is a cool skill. You know, it's different. It is cool, though. I like the music that comes out of it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. In the next part, we are going to go ahead and have that wedding that I was talking about with some new faces. Um, in this part, we adopted little baby Violet, and she's super cute, and I can't wait for her to age up. Um, so, yeah, in the next part, we're probably going to have the wedding and also have Lily and Noel try for a baby. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.